In March 2021, Rivian announced their intentions to build the Adventure Network, which was a DC fast charger initiative in order to follow in the footsteps of their rival Tesla. Three years plus on, they now have 78 stations. Last year in October, Pilot Flying J opened their first collection of stations, and less than nine months later, they have 37 stations open with an additional 34 spotted under construction for a total of 71 stations. That's a very fast catching up that they have been doing. Further, EVGO, of which the Pilot Flying J network is a subsidiary of, it's not really a subsidiary, it's EVGO Extend, but regardless, it's part of the EVGO umbrella, is now at a million customers, which is a doubling of their subscriber base in less than two years, with clear indication that EV adoption is accelerating. This was just announced yesterday that they crossed the 1 million mark in the subscriber count. Now, a lot of those people will have, you know, just dead accounts, but the trend is very clear that we are on an upswing, at least in the uh, EVGO family of uh, networks, of which Pilot Flying J is a part. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get into the update. The new location that is opened in the past uh, week is called Cato Mills. It's northeast of Dallas. I've also recalculated the average price. We've gone down just a little bit to 64.32 cents per kilowatt hour, which is still very high, but eh, we'll see what happens here. There's also the uh, General Motors discounts that are yet to be announced, but this is what the network looks like to date. This map here shows the sites spotted under construction. Again, a very high concentration in the Midwest and up in New York. Uh, there are five spotted under construction in the state of Texas, um, three in Indiana, let's see, one, two, three, four, five in the state of Ohio. Actually, this one here is Ohio also, so that's six. The new ones spotted under construction are this one here in St. Mary, Florida on Interstate 95. This one in Virginia, um, Rutherford's Glen, Virginia, also on Interstate 95. There's also a location that has NEVI funding on Interstate 95 in Southern Virginia, but it has not been spotted under construction yet. And the um, Kenley, North Carolina is open, but that's on Interstate 95 as well. So it looks like they're starting to target this Interstate 95 corridor. Also newly spotted under construction, Ty, Texas, Emporia, Kansas. Um, there is one in Ohio. I forgot which one is the new one. And um, I think that's it. Let's go ahead and get into the update. This is the um, proposed by the end of 2024. There's 32 weeks left, which is about five per week. But the number spotted under construction keeps stacking up. So right now, if they completed all the ones that are spotted under construction, they would be at 71, which is well shy of their goal of 200. But you can see that the momentum is definitely picking up. Let's go ahead and get into the update. The way this works is I break them out by time zone, any new location I highlight. And there was a couple of comments indicating that I didn't go slowly on these tables last time. So I'll try to go slowly this time. This is the Eastern time zone locations that are open. I'll go down in chunks. That's the end of the Eastern time zone. Central time zone, Cato Mills, Texas, Northeast of Dallas is the new one. 65 cents per kilowatt hour. Mountain and Pacific time zones. Now the big news, it seems like just about every day I turn around, I can see another Pilot Flying J spotted under construction newly. We are up to 34, and that includes the one subtraction from Cato Mills getting taken out. So it's definitely a busy time of year. Here's the eastern time zone, spotted under construction, sorted north to south. Anything new will be highlighted. And you can see the three new ones in the eastern time zone are Franklin, Ohio on Interstate 75, confirmed by PlugShare user Derek B. Rutherford's Glen, Virginia, confirmed by PlugShare user Philip Stewart. And St. Mary's, Georgia on Interstate 95, spotted by YouTuber T-Bone 315. In the central time zone, we've got two new ones spotted under construction. Emporia, Kansas, which is a NEVI site. This column here indicates NEVI funding. 
and I went kind of fast there. Let me pause in the central time zone. Spotted under construction, this is canopies. You can see most of these are canopies. So not only did Pilot Flying J play catch up very quickly, they did so with style by putting in canopies at most of their locations. Tide Texas on Interstate 20 is the other one. None spotted newly under construction in mountain or Pacific time zones. There's also no change in NEVI funding. The state of Ohio announced round two of NEVI funding and there are no awards to Pilot Flying J. Pilot Flying J uh, won heavily in round one, but they seem to have been passed over in round two, likely because all their locations had already been awarded in round one, but no change here. I'm going to uh, roll the slide deck that shows all the canopy locations that are open and also the canopy locations that are spotted under construction. And there's been a ton of activity. So if you're interested in that, please stick around. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy this video.